Well, now for a UK first in 30 years and how Devon astronomers helped spot it. A meteorite which landed on a driveway in the Cotswolds was tracked and pinpointed to its location thanks to the UK Fireball Alliance. Thousands of people reported seeing the blazing light rush across the night sky on Sunday the 28th of February. But crucially, the event was also captured on a network of special cameras. Well, John McLean is from the UK Meteor Monitoring Network. I asked him how exciting this discovery is. Victoria, this is extremely exciting. This is the first time since 1991 that a meteorite has been found on UK soil. And it's the very first time ever that this type of meteorite, a carbonaceous chondrite meteor, which is extremely rare, has ever been found. They carry the building blocks of, the, of life in the solar system. And we're hoping to uh, find out a bit more about the birth of the solar system and even perhaps how life came to Earth. You are part of the UK Meteor Monitoring Network. I mean, who, who even knew that existed? But you were part of the group that tracked this meteorite and, and located it. How exactly do you do that? Well, it's, uh, it's not easy. As uh, part of an, a bigger uh, organisation called the UK Fireball Alliance, and we started working on techniques and analysis techniques, how to uh, use these videos we capture with our cameras which are monitoring the, uh, the night sky over UK every night. And the fact is that we tracked it so accurately that it landed within 400 metres of where we predicted it would fall. And then, of course, that information was handed over to the Natural History Museum, who have a team ready, and they sent out their team, and they were able to uh, pick up the pieces of a meteorite. Meanwhile, um, the people whose house it fell in the driveway, they'd heard a, a thump and went outside the next morning and discovered this black uh, dust and rock on their driveway. And immediately they, they contacted us and uh, the team were ready to go. Could this be happening all the time? Yes, indeed. Most of them are only the size of a grain of sand and they burn up in the atmosphere. This, of course, was much bigger and it survived its trip through the atmosphere at 14 kilometres per second, so it's, it's going pretty fast. Occasionally you get much, much bigger ones like Chelyabinsk in 2013 uh, over Russia, which was 20 metres across and quite a dangerous asteroid. You've got your own personal observatory, I, I believe. Where does this particular instance rank in, in the most exciting things you've seen? Oh, it, I have to say it's, it's really up there. If you'd seen us uh, last week when we dis found out that we'd, we'd actually discovered where it had fallen, the team got together in a Zoom meeting and it was like a bunch of kids with a new toy, you know, the, the excitement <laughs> was just palpable. What will happen is that the Natural History Museum are, are custodians of that meteor right now. Very fortunately, the people whose driveway it landed and have, have donated it to science um, rather than trying to sell it or anything or keep it. Um, the Natural History Museum will do a basic analysis. They will issue it to different scientists in the world who, who can then uh, analyse and research and study this meteorite. And John, if anyone hears a thud in the night and something appears on their driveway, what do you do? If there's been uh, some videos released of a fireball and you've seen those videos and you think you might have a meteorite landed in your garden, then don't touch it with a magnet and pick it up in a piece of tin foil and put it in a plastic bag and contact us at the UK Meteor Monitoring Network um, and we'll uh, let you know what to do.